Hello guys, today I want to talk about Lumen, about Laravel micro framework that was released in 2015 and I have some news for you, it's officially not part of Laravel ecosystem. What do I mean by that? While browsing the changes to Laravel docs, I found this thing. So on laravel.com website 15 days ago, it was removed from the links of ecosystem in the footer. And then someone else pointed me to the changes of README in the Lumen itself, which is, and I quote by Taylor, in the years since releasing Lumen, PHP has made wonderful performance improvements, so we no longer recommend that you begin new projects with Lumen. Instead, Taylor recommends Laravel Octane and always begin new projects with Laravel instead of Lumen. And as you maybe saw that in the docs of Lumen, it is here. This article on Laravel News is dated back to 2015, April 14th, where Taylor is interviewed about Lumen. And at the time, it did make sense because it gave some performance improvement over Laravel. So using Lumen kind of stripped down the Laravel with only necessary features for APIs usually, where you don't need anything related to web. So microservices or small APIs with Lumen were faster at the time. But with time, Laravel got more and more improved in terms of speed and performance, and that performance difference was smaller and smaller. Of course, that difference depended on the actual projects and the benchmarks that were online. That's why I kind of hate benchmarking because they mostly use something like Hello World or Fresh Application or something really small or something really simple. In real life applications, those benchmark could show totally different numbers and almost no significant improvement in performance. But anyway, that was in 2015 and the latest that was published on Laravel News about Lumen in September of 2021 quoting the Taylor's tweet, which is roughly the same thing as it is in the docs now. He recommends Octane over Lumen and emphasize, be sure that you actually need this first. And this article emphasizes really great things by Eric that if you care about performance, first you need to take care of the performance of the application itself. Quite often the typical reasons for bad performance are eloquent queries, maybe caching some data or just generally load too much data, which then pollutes your RAM memory and the application is slow. But if you are quite sure that you are doing great job on those, then maybe on top you could use Laravel Octane to improve the performance. So that's the official current recommendation for something like API or microservice. And I've published this thing on Twitter after I saw that change in the Lumen docs. And if you want to get some opinions about what to do if you do use Lumen, comments on that tweet are really valuable, including from people who use Lumen for like microservices and stuff. So if you do use Lumen for your application, generally, you shouldn't change anything. Lumen still works, it's still supported, it's just not advised for new projects. So if Lumen works for you, okay, maybe you want to migrate to Laravel for the future use, then the recommendation is to use Laravel Shift Converter, which is just five bucks, so it would save you a lot of time. Of course, depending on your application, but you should try that out if you want to. And finally, I want to quote or show the Kaneko lightning talk at Laravel Worldwide Meetup, which is probably the shortest lightning talk I've ever seen. I will link that in the description below to the exact timestamp, but basically it's four screens, four slides. The first slide, Lumen. The second slide, is it worth using in 2021 at the time? Nope. Thank you. That's it. So even no logic or anything. So that's kind of a trolling version of the explanation of the same thing that I discussed earlier. And if you want my version of creating the API in Laravel, I have two courses for you. First, I have Flutter mobile app with Laravel API created for that mobile app. And also I have a bit further down Laravel CRUD with SPA, which also includes the API. And actually the third one, how to create Laravel API from scratch, those two are a bit older courses and I will reshoot them in 2022, but most of those things are still relevant. So you can get those each or subscribe to yearly membership of my courses. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.